Are you good now? Can you hear? <laughs> that should be a lot better. Actually, let me turn this off. Is that better? Audio is working. Awesome. Cool. Well, guys, uh, I am Hunter Dugan. I work here in the Digital Media Lab, and I'm also on the uh, Twitch live streaming team. And um, this is my first stream, uh, so it should be pretty interesting. Uh, so if you guys didn't know already, all of these streams are archived and uploaded to our YouTube channel. And our YouTube channel um, has, has all these streams on it, but we don't have any thumbnails for any of our streams. So today I'm going to kind of be designing um, thumbnails for each of the like various streams that we do. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> I'm glad you're excited. I'm going to blow up this chat window so I can see it better. Okay, cool. Uh, so the software I'm going to be using today is called Gravit Designer. Um, and so I'll show you guys what that looks like. Uh, right here, it's web-based. Uh, so it's free, and you can uh, create a free account. Uh, right now, I'm on the, uh, the pro version uh, because it comes with like a 15-day free trial uh, as soon as you like create your account. Uh, so I'm using that. Uh, and that's just so I can import like the official NC State fonts and logos and stuff like that. Um, and if you guys want to, you know, go ahead and follow along, I'll show you guys where you can find some of that too. Uh, so the interesting thing about YouTube thumbnails is they're all in 16 by 9 aspect ratios. And uh, if you don't know what that means, that means that the width is 16. It, it's it's a length of like 16 related to the height, which is nine. Uh, so a common like pixel dimension that you can use for that is 1280 by 720. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna go for it. So uh, in Gravit, you have this new design, uh, design creation starts here button. Uh, that's kind of selected by default. And then uh, this creates your canvas. If you leave it empty, it creates an infinite canvas. So you can kind of design whatever you want on it. Um, so what I'm going to do here is create this canvas with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. And as you can see, it kind of has like this, you know, this big white rectangle. And so this is basically the canvas that we have to work on. Um, so I think for to start, um, I'm going to design the thumbnail for the Digital Media Lab streams uh, because that's where I work as well. So I'm kind of partial to them. Um, and I think in order to do that, I am going to, <laughs> yeah, scary and exciting. Um, I'm going to add a rectangle. And so uh, up here in the top bar, uh, you have a bunch of different tools. Um, in order to create a rectangle, you just click this little basic shapes button and then um, click rectangle. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, you can also hit R on your keyboard. Um, so essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this rectangle out right here. And you, as you can see, it kind of popped up. Um, so if you look at it, it's a bit off center. Uh, so if you come over here in the, uh, the inspector window, uh, this aligns it in the center, like relative to the Y axis. And then this aligns it in the center relative to the X axis. So now it's centered, uh, which is kind of cool. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and resize it a little bit. I think the borders could be a little bit bigger. Awesome. Cool. And um, so I don't know if you guys knew this. I just found out about this like yesterday. But NC State actually has an official color palette. Um, so if you go over here to the NC State branding website, it's just brand.ncsu.edu. Uh, you can click on color. And that has a bunch of color codes. So this is the Wolfpack Red, um, which you guys have probably seen all around campus. And then black and white, pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then if you keep scrolling down, there's actually an expanded palette. And I don't know about you guys, but when I think of the Digital Media Lab, I think of Genomic Green because uh, the Media Lab in Hill Library is like completely green. And uh, it's, pretty, it's pretty cool, actually. You guys should go check it out. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and fill this with the official Genomic Green color. And the, it gives you hex values right here, which you can go ahead and copy and then switch back over to grab it and paste right here in the hex number, like little slot area. And then boom, it filled the entire screen up with green. Um, I think that looks pretty good. 
Uh, but in order to make it look a little better, I'm going to go ahead and round off these corners. I think that just looks a little bit more professional. Kind of looks like a like a PowerPoint slide. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Oh yeah, genomic green is amazing. Oh, what? That didn't save? That's weird. Okay, well, it looks like it's working now. Um, okay, so this is a little boring uh, for a YouTube thumbnail. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and pop out of this window. Sorry if this looks a little weird right now. And I actually created a thumbnail design folder, uh, which you guys can't see because I'm not sharing the entire screen. Um, but there is an NC State Libraries logo, which I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, shoot. What happened there? Ah! Drag this in there. Awesome. So you guys can see, I don't know. <laughs> Gotta love graphic design. Um, you guys can kind of see how this looks. I think that actually looks pretty good. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's pretty good. I might try and size it a little bit differently, just because it's kind of big right now. Um, actually, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and move this to the top of the page. I think that looks a little better. Um, this logo isn't available to you guys, but if you go back to the uh, the brand website, there are a bunch of generic NC State logos. If you go over to Visual Identity and then Logos, uh, here, I'll switch back to full screen. You can see all of these logos right here. Um, keep scrolling. I know eventually they, oh. Well, maybe it's not there. <laughs> um, there's somewhere. I know it's above the colors, so if you go here, or maybe not above, but around the colors. Somewhere. It's somewhere around here. You can download um, all of the logos. Let me see if it's, maybe it's in brand downloads? Yeah, there it is. So you can see all of these logos. Um, you can just go ahead and download them. Uh, I think they have them all in like PNG and stuff. It's pretty cool. Yeah, um, all the file formats that you could ever want. So uh, going back to here, um, still looks a little bland. So what I think I'm going to do is add a text box right here. Going to resize it. And I'm going to make the font size a bit bigger, like 48. Yeah. Oh, shoot. Uh, that looks pretty good. Um, and then I think I'm just going to have it say digital media lab stream and I think that looks pretty good I'm gonna center align it um, now I'm gonna go ahead and change the font uh, which you can do over here in the right um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click on imported fonts uh, but there aren't any imported fonts so I have to go ahead and import them which is not very hard to do uh, you just kind of go over here file import add fonts and then it should be you guys can't see what I'm doing but it'll pop, it'll pop up with like a window um, and then you just kind of file select the fonts it's pretty simple um, let me go ahead and find where I put this desktop thumbnail design Where is it in? yeah it's in this one um, so NC State does have official fonts which I have pre-installed. I'm gonna use University LT Pro Bold. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so I just went ahead and imported the font. Now I'm gonna go over here, highlight all this, go into there, and then see. Look at that. That looks great. Um, just gonna make this a little bit bigger. Do I have a favorite font? Um, okay, so I do videography in my free time and the most used font like that I've ever used has been Helvetica Bold. Like without a doubt that is my go-to font. It is amazing. If you guys haven't, I mean I'm sh most of you probably know what Helvetica Bold is, but if you don't, like definitely check it out. Get on that wave. It's amazing. Um, ooh, gotta Google that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, Digital Media Lab Stream. Might make this a little bit too, or a little bit smaller. <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. 
think that looks pretty good. Um, I may try and get this whole thing centered. Uh, so in order to do that, fun little trick you can use, and this isn't most like other graphic design softwares, is you can create what's called a group. So if you just, it's either shift click or control click, I can't remember, I might mess this up. Um, either way, you can do it over here in the layers tab, which you can't really see because it's hidden by the chat. Um, but on your left, in most graphic design softwares, you'll have like a little layers thing. You can shift click um, two different items. So as you can see right now, I have the Digital Media Lab and the University logo thing uh, selected. And so what I can do is create what's called a group right here. It's, uh, yeah, it's Control G on the keyboard, uh, but you can go ahead and create a group. And so what that does is that essentially makes like one big um, like item. So you saw that the one blue box or the two blue boxes turn into the one big one, and then I can go ahead and recenter it using these two buttons right here. Which um, I think that looks pretty good. Um, this spacing might be a little weird. I can't really tell what the spacing is relative to there. That looks pretty good. Um, and so you can kind of just mess around with any of this. See now that looks a little off since I since I moved the spacing. So I'm just going to recenter the group again. Uh, which I can do like that. I mean I think that looks pretty good. Um, okay, so still looks pretty bland for a YouTube thumbnail. I think, I think we're all in agreement there. Uh, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and go back to the brand site. You scroll down. I was messing around with some of this last night. I found these icons, and um, you can download them in SVG, PNG, or EPS. Uh, PNG is like the clear, like transparent background. Yeah, that's very true. I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, so, but SVG, anytime you're doing anything with graphic design, uh, you'll use, you'll want to use an SVG uh, file format. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop out. It's going to look a little weird again. And uh, go into the icon set that I have. And so uh, I'll just go back to this brand page. Um, you can kind of see the icon set up here. For the Digital Media Lab, uh, some good ones that I might want to use is this, or are this like music one here. Let me try and make this bigger for you guys. Try that. No, that's not going to work. Uh, <laughs> does that work? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Nope, you guys can't see that. That's really weird. Huh. Oh, no. It is getting bigger. Okay. Interesting. Huh. Well, something I'll have to mess around with. But, so, I think this music one right here, that would be a good one to use. And then, maybe, maybe this light bulb. That might be a good one. And then I'll probably add, like, the bell tower and Raleigh, you know, something like that. Um, but I'm definitely going to use this music one um, because in the Digital Media Lab we have a bunch of like music equipment that you can check out. Um, at the Digital Media Lab in Hunt, which is actually where I'm at most of the time, um, we have a bunch of music rooms um, that should be opening up soon. Um, it's pretty cool. Yeah, the <laughs> moderator likes the rocket ship. Cool. I might have to add that to the Digital Media one then. I mean, I think that would fit. Yeah, cool. All right, so... Uh, so just to add more icons, I'm going to kind of go out again, pop this out, and let's see what the... You can't really see uh, what I'm doing right now, just because of the way that I have it set up, but essentially, I'm just going to add the bell tower. Did that, no, that didn't work. Uh, whoa. Okay. Sorry, I have a very messy... <laughs> Very messy screen right now. All right, I'm just gonna try and add this wolf head one. Not that didn't work. Huh? Interesting. Okay. Well, I think the best way to do this then. Let me just try and open this up. Sure, we'll keep doing that. Okay. So, <laughs> I just opened this in um, a new 
Google Chrome window, and for some reason it's being really weird. Oh, but it's okay, because uh, I didn't want them to be red anyways, because red and green would not look very good on a thumbnail. Um, it would look a little too Christmassy for me. So I think what I'm going to do is find a way to get them in white, um, which I know you can do, because I did it last night when I was messing around with things. Uh, either place a white icon in a field of color, or come in icon's color, okay. Maybe if I just download this zip file, and then there we go. Okay, so I just got a PNG pack of all of these. Um, can't really find it here. Hold on, let me. Yeah, there we go. Okay, still spooky season, not ready for Christmas yet. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm so excited for Halloween. You guys have no idea. My birthday is also in October, so. This makes it <laughs> makes it that much more exciting. Um, so what I'm gonna do is add this little wolf head PNG in here, and for some reason that's still not working. This is the wonders of graphic design. Yeah. Okay, so it's popping up over here. Maybe if I. Hmm. This is very intriguing. <laughs> Okay, is there a way to import files in here? Still kind of a new bit, uh, that grab it. Yeah, okay, place image maybe? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so if I just click uh, place image, it lets me figure out, or it lets me place images on it. Who would have guessed? Um, so let's open this. Did that do anything? No. Huh. Okay. Very confusing. <laughs> Let me try it. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We are going to go into the downloads. Bring the PNG zip out of here. Open it. White. Put that on the desktop, and then, okay, for some reason that didn't want to work either. We're, we're gonna, we're gonna make, make this work, work I, I promise. promise. It's, it's gonna, gonna, I mean, worst, worst comes to worst, I'll just design, design some, some, which <laughs> will be perfect. Um, but, don't, don't really want to have to do that if I don't have to. Because I'm very lazy. Okay, maybe if I go file, Import, place image, desktop, very stubborn, if you guys haven't figured that out. There we go! I got it to work! So, you need to select the actual PNG file. Um, too bad this isn't one that I want to use. I probably should have selected one that I want to use. Um, let's go to file, import, place image, and then... Why is this still? Can I unzip this? There we go. Got it. Okay, so, so I, I need to make, make a. Oh, the audio sounds, sounds a little echoey. Huh. Is that better? That might be a little better. I think I accidentally clicked another microphone. Much better. Cool. Okay, um. So. Let me go ahead and file, import, place image. And I'm going to scroll through. I'm just going to go ahead and actually make this look better again. File, import, place image. Um, let's see which one I want to use. OK, so I definitely think I want to use the bell tower. I'm going to go ahead and add that. Wow, that is large. Um, okay, so I guess we're just going to scale this down. Just look a little cleaner. Yeah, <laughs> majestic bell tower. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Right there. 
Do you guys think that looks good? I may, I'm gonna add some more. We can kind of mess around with it. I'll get your guys' opinion. But I think it looks relatively clean. File, import, place image. Okay, let's try and find the music notes. Um, music, music, music. Music.png. There we go. So this is the music one. I'm gonna go ahead and scale this down. Oh no. <laughs> this one, I think this looks pretty good. Actually, you know what I might do? I might make this smaller. And then duplicate it a bunch of times. Oh no, I keep accidentally moving this way. <laughs> Maybe if I... All right, I think if I just copy and paste it, that'll be much better. So I'm just gonna paste it on top of itself a bunch of times. I'm just gonna um, keep changing the. Uh, okay. Hmm. I'm actually thinking about making this a bit smaller. But if I make these a bunch of individual objects, there's definitely 100% a better way to do this. But you guys will see. Um, you guys will see my thought process through this. And it's gonna be great. I'm gonna copy and paste this a few more times. Not that. Keep moving the background square. The rectangle. I, guess I should say. Um, let's try and move that there. And there. I'm probably gonna need to do this a bunch of times, but I'm kind of thinking if I resize a few of these. So cool to watch a professional do this. I am not a professional by any means, but <laughs> I appreciate the compliment. Um, okay, so I'm gonna make these kind of small and then I'm just gonna kind of scatter them throughout the thing. That might look, might look pretty good. Um, okay, so maybe, if I do this, kind of rotate it a little bit, you know, let's get these, um, kind of scattered throughout, kind of going for like an organized, like, jumbled look, you know what I'm saying? I keep one of them straight. I'm gonna copy and paste a few more of these. So let's go ahead and add that one there. You know what I might do to make this look a little bit more professional? So I might crop one of these and grab just like the quarter note. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. So, uh, cool thing about Grab It is uh, one of the wonderful tools that you have. It's called the knife tool. And so what I can do is I can select this PNG, chop it, and I don't know why that's not working. But you know, that's why. Okay, well, maybe you can't chop it. <laughs> um, but you can definitely crop it, which, let me figure out how to do that. Freehand shaping, what's that do? Let's figure this out. Can I just cut like that? Oh, I don't know what that did. <laughs> That's, 
Aren't they weird? Huh. Well, okay, we're just gonna get rid of that. Pretend like that didn't happen. Um, maybe I can drag this one over here. Kind of turn it a different way, resize it. Make it look a little, a little more complicated. Okay, I think I'm gonna add a few more. I think I'm gonna add the um, the rocket ship. I think that'll look a little, a little better. Rocket ship. Is it listed? Yeah, it's listed as rocket ship. Okay, so there's the rocket ship. And of course, the in, oh, the import is like huge file sizes. Um, I think I'll go a little bit smaller. Looks good. <laughs> yeah, your rocket ship. Um, no. Uh, I don't like the look of that. Okay, I think I'm gonna move this music note down. Make this a bit smaller. And kind of put this in the corner, like it's taking off. Okay, I definitely think it needs something. Oh, what was that? In the um, the lower areas. And something right here. Um, I may honestly add more music notes. If it doesn't fit, that's okay with me. <laughs> uh, file import, place images. Let's go. Let's add, you know, let's add a book because it's the library. That sounds like a good idea. Go ahead and add some books. This first one's gonna take a bit longer, but I'm gonna kind of speed run through some of the other ones. The books are great. I read a lot of philosophy in my free time. Kind of interesting. Um, I think that that book looks pretty good right there. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna add the city of Raleigh underneath, or like maybe some bar graphs or something. Something with like a flat background. There's a bridge. Ooh, I'm gonna add the bridge. Bridge should be, that should look cool. Let's have the bridge right there. And then I'm gonna connect it to some buildings. Let's go ahead and import. I remember there being a building. There's some trees. Star. Snowflake, scissors, ruler. I'll use the scissors and rulers for the makerspace one. Oh, there's the Capitol building. I'll add that. That looks cool. I'm going to make this a bit smaller. shapes. Oh, I can. I'm going to lock that rectangle. Awesome. Just did that by going over here in the in the left and hitting the little lock next to the rectangle. Um, okay, so there's a capital building. I'm going to try and get that perfectly in line with the... Uh, sorry if this mouse is extremely loud. Okay, got the capital building. Maybe file, import, place image. Hmm. What would this be called? Camera calendar building. There we go. That's what I need. <laughs> uh, gonna make this smaller, a little more narrow. I'm gonna make this bridge smaller too. I think it looks a little large for my taste. Um, maybe let's go bridge and then connect it to the buildings. Would that look weird? That'll look fine. And then we have it kind of connected to the capital building. I'm gonna, so cool little trick. I'm gonna rescale these so that they look a little bit. Uh, actually, I don't like the look of that. Scale that back down. 
whatever. That looks good. So maybe let's go with that one bit. I think that looks good. Um, oh, I just realized this is the library. That's that's kind of cool. Um, I think that looks good. I may I'm gonna group these three together just by shift clicking and then control G and then moving it just a little bit over. What do you guys think? Do you think this looks a little big or a little or a little like crowded? Can't really tell. <laughs> I think it looks pretty good. You like it a lot. Awesome. Cool. Well, then I think I mean I'm gonna add a little bit more, um, but then I think that's pretty good on the um, on the digital media lab stream. Um, I might add. I'm just gonna look through here. Maybe oh camera. Yeah, that would be a great one for the Digital Media Lab. Just move that down. Make this one a little smaller. I'm just going to kind of repeat the process I did with the music notes, just to kind of fill in some of this negative space. I don't like negativity. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is coming out pretty good. I'm not going to add as many cameras, though. Oh, no. Why is this not? There we go. This should let me duplicate. No, it didn't. OK, well, I guess we're going to do the old-fashioned way and copy and paste. Where is camera? Camera, 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 camera. Oh, did I accidentally? No, I didn't do that. Camera, camera. For some reason, the camera's not showing up. So I guess we're going to stick with it being right there. Because if I, yeah, OK, that's what I thought. Um, to group, book, rocket ship, rectangle. It's all about the rectangle and above. Okay, maybe if I lock this group, can I move the camera? No, oh, that's so weird. We're running into a lot of interesting issues. But you know what? That's the beauty of graphic design. <laughs> you never know what you're going to run into. File import images camera. I need a camera. Devices. Actually, I'm going to add this devices one. I think that looks pretty good. Make it a little, a little more narrow. I'm going to lock all these other ones just to make sure I don't accidentally move them. And then I go over to devices. And then the only thing I should be able to move is this. Haha, <laughs> figure it out. Oh, so um, cool little trick. If you hold Alt and then click, it won't mess with the other like dimensions when you're sizing stuff. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. Um, let me try and I'm gonna try and add in maybe another camera. Just because I think that would look pretty good. Camera. Cool. I'm gonna uh, alt drag it. there so um, I think that looks pretty good don't want to make it too crowded um, yeah I mean I think that's almost done 
Um, I'm gonna add one more camera, actually. I lied. Um, I'm gonna make it way smaller. And rotate it at a different angle. I think that looks pretty good. I don't think it looks too busy or too um, annoying. I think it looks pretty good. Cool, all right, so our first one is done. So I'm gonna go ahead and export this as an SVG, so that way we can edit it later. Um, and I'm gonna call this DML it's, uh, thumbnail. Thumbnail. Go ahead and save that dot SVG. Cool. All right. Well, I guess we are on to the next one. Um, so I need to figure out how to get a new design. Yeah. All right. I'll go to new design and we're going to leave it at 1280, 720. And so the next one thumbnail that I want to do is for the VR studio. And uh, for the VR studio, I'm going to just use blue as the background color because I feel like that is that just screams the VR studio. Um, and of course, I, I have to use the NC State official blue. Um, there we go. Let's change the color. Um, so the NC State official blue is, let's go color. This one is a, yeah, innovation blue. I think that looks perfect for the the VR studio. Awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and round these corners out again um, and then center it. Maybe make it a little bit. Actually, you know what I should have done? Probably should have here. You know what I'm going to do? Save. Save this as VR thumbnail. Save that there, and then I'm gonna open the file that I just had because I want to see. I want to see like what the exact dimensions were, so it can all be like a standard. Oh, that is the wrong. That's funny. Okay, file. Uh, open. Go open local file. It should be an SVG file that I just saved to the desktop. Save it in here. Sorry, you guys definitely cannot see what I'm doing, but it's okay, we'll find it. I'll find it later. Um, we'll just go back to what we were doing. So right here is the, uh, this is going to be the VR Studio one. And I'm going to try and make this a little shorter than the last one since you guys already know what we're doing. Um, so, all right, so I'm just going to import that logo again. Import, place image, go into the C State logo. Which I think is in which folder was that in? Thumbnail design. Uh, libraries logo. Open. Oh, well, that's a different logo. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and try and uh, change up the logo. Unless you guys like this one better. If you guys like this one better, we can use it. But I think I like the. I mean, that's the beauty of saving the other one as an SVG is I can go back and change it with no issues. What do you guys think? <laughs> this one look good or? Does the other one look better? Let's see. I'm gonna wait for a response. I'll go ahead and import both. Okay. Moderator likes it. So we're gonna go with this logo this time. NC State University Libraries. Is this not center again? I gotta make sure to lock that rectangle. Okay, so, moderator approved. Awesome. Cool, we got the moderator seal of approval. That is 
amazing. So we're gonna go ahead and create another text box. Put this all the way across. Let's go to center. Use the same font as before, except this time we're gonna make it white just to be uh, consistent. I'm gonna use this little eyedropper tool to try and figure out, to get the exact white. And we're gonna make it say VR Studio Street. I think that actually looks pretty good. You know what I'm gonna do actually, since I got the Twitch logo to pop up earlier, we're gonna mess around with this, um, just see how it looks. But, oh, why is that? That's really weird. It should not be, yeah, cutting that off. But I think what we're gonna do, so I'm gonna go here, edit this to be as long as this logo. And then I'm gonna center it, just like we centered this logo. Oh yeah, the blue is the blue's gotta be one of my favorite colors on this thing. Um, okay, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna group these two. This is getting a little complicated. We're, we're, we're taking it a step up. So we're gonna group these two, resize them, and this way too, so that they're not actually here. You know what I'll do? I'll just do the, the little trick. I told you guys about. No, nope, that's not it. Why is that not working? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're gonna go here, and then we're gonna file, import, place image, the Twitch logo, which I believe is on the desktop. NC State Twitch logo white. SVG. Cool. And we're just going to rescale this so that it's right there. We're going to try and get this height, width and height to match this. Um, so this is 904.5 versus 225.5. All right, so we just need the 225.9. So we can kind of play around with this so it doesn't look so wide. I think that looks pretty good. Um, okay, and then we just need to get this in line with this. Okay. There we go. That looks really good. I really like that. I'm actually going to move this a little bit more down. And then what I'm going to do is create... Wait, that probably didn't do the group good. No, it did. Okay, we're good. Then I'm going to select this and this group make another group with the Twitch logo included. I'm going to rename this group actually and call it Twitch included. I spelled included wrong. <laughs> Twitch included. And what we're going to do is we're going to center this. Cool. I think that looks very good. Then what we're going to do I might actually resize this group just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit. Yeah, that looks like it's the right side. All right, now we're gonna import our images like we did before. Um, okay, let's go. I saw there was an actual VR person because in the actual like icon set, so, I'm definitely going to have to use that one. Um, where is the VR? It's probably called VR. It is. Virtualreality.png. So check that out. That actually looks really cool. We're going to scale this down. I'm just going to have this little guy sitting underneath there. Wow, I like the, uh, the dichromatic look. Makes it look a lot more professional. Yeah, that looks really good. I like that a lot. Actually, you know what I might do? I might play around with this. What if I aligned it to the top? Made this guy way bigger. And then, kinda have 
Ooh, yeah, this looks. This is gonna be really good. Oh, I, I just realized that this is. <laughs> this is cut a little bit, so I'm gonna position this a little bit lower. Oh shoot. Because it has to be below the rectangle. Oh, that's a little complicated. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do is resize this Twitch logo. Make that a little smaller. And make it a little bit lower too. That looks good. And then if I go here, and then raise this back up again. Yeah, I like the look of that a lot. And then I'm just gonna add a few more little images. There's um, there's like a little PC thing that I saw. There's a there's a little Zoom class one, uh, but I think that actually works. It looks pretty good for the VR studio. And I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller than the guy, and have that sitting there. Yeah, that looks. That looks pretty good. I'm gonna try and get these little lines to match though. <laughs> zoom, zoom. Yeah, zoom classes have been interesting. Make a little agreement there. Um, that looks good. Awesome. I'm actually gonna, I think I'm gonna cut off these little lines. I think they look a little, a little weird. It's really, a lot of this graphic design stuff is kind of up to your own discretion, you know? But it's good, we've got a good uh, moderating staff to, you know, help me figure out what looks good and what doesn't. Um, import, let's go. Let's see what else we can add here. Uh, what looks VRE? Hmm, there's a little tablet, a smartwatch. Glad to be helpful. <laughs> awesome. Um, can add. Little. Oh, there's just a normal laptop. I'll probably add that on the other side. Yeah, I bet that the uh, the Zoom link, or the Zoom one was probably. Oh shoot. Um, adapted using this this laptop design. Uh, don't lock that one. That's the one I need to move. Okay. This should be. Right, I'm gonna get the dimensions from the virtual class one. What are the dimensions? 312 by 312. That is an easy number to remember. <laughs> Let's go. 312 by 312. And then let's move this down a little bit. I mean, I think that looks perfectly fine. I'm going to make this a little bit more spaced out, you know? Oh, no, that's not that. That doesn't look good. Uh, I mean, I think that looks, that looks pretty good. Um, I think I'm willing to say that that one looks good. <laughs> File, save. Yeah, I never forget to save these. All right, and then I'm going to go ahead and make another one. Uh, so we got time for one more. We're going to try and speed run this. Um, because I only have 10 more minutes. So, step one, rectangle. Go here, uh, center it, color it. Uh, what color, so this one is gonna be for, let's do the maker space. I'm thinking for the maker space, we're gonna use either, I'm thinking we're gonna use hunt yellow. I think that, that really screams maker space. Don't know why. Maybe maybe I have a weird form of synesthesia or something where I could just associate colors with 
certain words, but you know, for some reason I'm really feeling hot yellow. Yeah, that looks good. Um, but I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for the black logo again, um, just to make this look a little more, like a little more contrast. I think that's gonna look a little bit better. Also, yeah, the makerspace, happy place. Um, oh, I found the other thumbnail, so we're good. <laughs> I was a bit worried I lost that one. Um, okay, let's go. Okay, I need to find where the logos are. Which is in thumbnail nine. Okay, let's go. This is the black one, right? Yeah. Okay. I yeah, we're definitely gonna need to use the black one. That one looks way better for against the yellow. Um, and actually, okay, we're gonna go there. Text box. I'm gonna speed run this. Let's go 60. You guys already know what we're doing at this point though, so makes sense. There we go, University Makerspace. Kind of vibing with the with the white on black on white look, or like you know the black white black. I think that looks pretty good. You know we could do. Uh, oh oh I have a really good idea. Okay check this out. We're gonna add another rectangle. We're going crazy. And then we're gonna move this over here. Fill this with NC State black. And then we're gonna make the makerspace stream font color white and then so the cool thing about layering is you can move this text on top of the rectangle and then what we're going to do is make this like that and create a little excess space on each side so it mirrors the NC state and then we're going to center this relative to the I'm going to center this here and then make the text box the same size as the rectangle. It's a little trick. Yeah, that looks that looks really cool. We're going to actually make this rectangle a little bit bigger. Let's see if I think that'll look. Yep, all right. And then I'm just going to group these using the uh, same button that we did before. The other ones, actually this rectangle needs to be a bit, oh, I grouped too soon. There we go, that's, that's perfect. And then I need to move the group down just a little bit. Awesome. Okay, so that white, maybe contrasting a little to, or not contrasting enough, but we'll play around with it. Uh, so let's go import place image and then let's go the icon set should be desktop icon set Thank you, I appreciate it looking good. Um, let's go white. Actually, you know what? We're gonna go red this time. I think red and yellow would look pretty good for the maker space. Red, yellow, and black. That's gonna look really nice. Okay, so cool things for the maker space. Let's go ruler. I think that'll look, that'll definitely look cool. I'm gonna downscale it. Oh wait, actually, I have an even better idea. What if we made the ruler? Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna change it up for the makerspace. Um, I'm gonna add a white ruler. Ruler.png. And we're gonna rotate it. 
willing to bet this ruler was rotated at a 45 degree angle. So I'm going to do minus 45. Perfect. And then we're going to move it horizontally to like there. That looks cool. Kind of looks like little bell towers sticking out the side. <laughs> but I want it to look like a ruler. Yeah, actually, I really like the, ooh, yeah, that looks good. All right, and then what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, duplicate this. Figure out how. Um, rotate it positive 45 degrees. No, nope, that didn't do anything. Uh, let's go 90 degrees. No, nope. it's 180. 100? No, 180. No, okay. Uh, 135, that's what I needed. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, it does look like a spiral notebook. That's cool. Uh, but it won't after I add, at least it shouldn't. It should look like a doubly spiral notebook. I have it like that. I kind of like it off center a little bit. I think it looks a little good. It looks kind of like a film reel. I don't know. I think it looks cool. Um, that looks good. And then I'm just going to add a bunch of more images. Just kind of see what Makerspace would like. Let's add some data points. That look kind of cool. Yeah, there we go. I'm just going to off-center it a bit. Um, I'm going to add another one in the other corner, it rotated the other way, like that. Uh, file, import, place image, let's go, maybe protractor, or <laughs> protractor, compass, there we go, that looks, that looks pretty cool, that definitely fits with the makerspace theme. of these kind of put them throughout and then I'll rotate and resize them in a bunch of different ways rotate resize then I'll just rotate this one resize it making me want to make stuff. I know. Well, that's good. That's uh, that's kind of the goal of these thumbnails. At least it's making you want to watch somebody make stuff. That might, <laughs> that might also be good. Uh, file, import images. Okay. What else could work? The, um, I mean, easel? Makerspace. That's awesome. Easel. Yeah, I'll throw the easel just kind of underneath instead of having like the city again throw the easel right there and then maybe add a few more images um, check mark oh, kind of cool check mark I'll throw some little one-offs in there check mark on the right get it centered with everything that looks good and then maybe let's go let's do one or two more um it's a little carrot um there's gears that would look perfect and then i'll just go ahead and add this in the upper right hand corner. So we got time for one more. Let's do one more little little thing. It should be good. Gears are my favorite. Yeah, oh for sure.
gears are cool. Um, let's maybe do. I wish you guys could see what I'm looking through. Make things way easier. Maybe a molecule? Yeah, let's do a molecule. And then we'll kind of duplicate those like we did with the compasses. One there, one there, one there, one there. And then what I think I'm going to do is just resize, rotate, rotate this one, resize it. Actually, that one doesn't look that much different than the other ones. Make this one super tiny. Right there. Go ahead and rotate it. Um, and I need to change this one up and rotate that, resize it. Let's do one more for good measure. Uh, let's go ahead and rotate it. Actually, let me rotate it to the right. Resize it. All right, well, I think that actually looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and file, save. We'll just save it to a file. Um, let's call this makerspace stream. Oh, that's awesome. Not know that you could 3D print molecules and microbes. That's really cool. Well, all right, guys. I think. Sorry guys, uh, that is about all of the time that I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and yeah, definitely tune into some of the streams that we have next week. All right, cool. See you guys.